Hey guys, I'm Russell Vane, and welcome back to another episode of VLR, Virtue's Last Reward, Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward. Last episode, we were basically solving the puzzle of the clocks. The clocks are starting to piss me off because I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do with these plants yet either. There hasn't been a tool or an item in the room that's helping me out understanding this. We got a piece of chip for some reason uh, that didn't seem to slot into this thing apparently. These look like card slots. There's a red one and a green one. Yeah, so those are like the slots that I can recognize, but these this thing doesn't seem like it fits. I'm wondering if I can examine this clock a bit more to get the stuff. Uh, so far, our memo that I wrote out. So we used the timers from the pods that we saw uh, in the last episode with the puzzle. Uh, 715 was pod number 1, 620 was pod number 2, and 015 was pod number 3. We don't know what number four is, but we got the letters of Yahtzee. Uh, spelled not as the game Yahtzee, <laughs> if you know what Yahtzee is in, in terms of the game. Uh, but it's what we got so far. I'm guessing the word stay is pl plausible here, but I don't know what else there is to it. To the other two last final words that comes from number four's clock. Uh, because there's four pieces, apparently. So, anyways, let's figure out what the hell this thing is, I guess. I wonder why the clock doesn't have any hands. <laughs> Don't know why it says number four either. What do you think those two slots are for? Well, maybe there's a clue or something if we put some memory cards in them. I'm not sure. Hey, wait. Don't you have a memory card? Is this not the memory card? I mean, this is the one other thing that looks like a memory card in here. Yeah, it looks like the memory card. But I can't pull it out, apparently, so I'm confused by what the heck I'm supposed to do. Handless clock. It has two slots and one for green. Uh, so we've already read that. I'm just kind of confused on what we're going to have to use to cut some of these things open, maybe. Oh, maybe we could just drop them in here. Let's see. Can we use the, the doors of the pods? To cut these trees down, I guess. No. Hmm. Oh, maybe we can put them in here then. Yeah, we can put the plants in the pods and see what they do, I guess. There's nothing inside. Yeah. Okay. Mm, this is the hard part because I don't know what to do with these plants at all. Yeah, there's not a lot going on with the plants, unfortunately. And there's no way that I understand what to do with these plants. The plants who the plants do have memory cards though. The plants do have the memory card and the uh what's my call it? Yeah, this is two lazy jellyfishes in the tank, yeah. So I'm just looking down as much as I could because I don't know if I'm missing anything on the floor. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Actually, can, can I combine this with this? That'd be funny to me. Nope. Nope. Okay, so that's nothing. I'm at a loss. <laughs> I'm at a loss for what to do. Oh, no, that's my bad. I didn't realize those things would take you to the thing. Gosh, I don't know. I just can't pull the memory chips off of the plants. There's no other tools left in this space to actually get anything out of it. So it's like very much me just like trying to figure out what else there is. <sighs> yeah, it's not letting me do the chip cards with this particular chips. Uh, 
Maybe we should look at... Yeah, let me see if there's any... If this number one piece of chip has any association with this clock up here. Clock dependent point is 7.15. Okay, so that doesn't really do much. Oh. Right. This thing is has a chip set right here. Uh, I forgot about this little slot. This this, this particular slot here. Uh, this particular slot right there. I didn't. I forgot about that. I totally forgot about that chip. <laughs> okay, now we got something. Oh, look. The color changed. I think it says something too. There's a message on the screen. Before use, the system must be initiated. Please perform the following tests. 1. Treat vegetation. 2. Freeze vegetation. Until tests are complete, pod will not function with, with human occupant. What the heck is this? We can't put a person in there until it runs a few, its tests. Seems pretty clear to me. Then what about Quark? Don't worry, we just need to run the tests. Something about treating and freezing a plant? Yeah. Treating makes sense. These being treatment pods and all, but... Freezing? Well, we don't really have a choice, do we? We gotta follow the instructions. Come on. We don't have time to just sit around. We gotta do these tests so we can get Quirk into one of these pods. Y yeah, right. Got it. Okay, so... Alright, at least we got progress. I thought we were not going to get progress. So we treat... I guess this is treating the plant. Okay, I put the healthy plant down. What do we do next? Let's try closing the pod. Right, here we go. Identifying subject done. <laughs> Identify the subject. Done. Diagnosing subject. Done. Initiating freeze cycle that screech sounds very scary to me the way it says that is the way that makes noise is really scary freeze test complete pod opening that is quite a frozen plant wow it's totally frozen stiff Probably because of your lame, lame joke. Oh, oof. <laughs> what joke was it? Did did I say something? Look, the leaves are all crunchy. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Ah! Oh man, what do you do, Lo Clover? It's all broken now. But but, whatever. Just help me clean it up. Huh? This wasn't here before. It's that plastic thing that was stuck in the trunk. It must have fallen out when the plant shattered. So we got the memory chip right there. Alrighty. So does that mean we need to start getting the other plant in here as like the other thing? Okay. This time it's the withered plant's turn. I wonder if it, it'll work. Who knows? Let's just close it up. Identifying subject, done. Diagnosing subject, done. Initiating treatment cycle. I don't know why would they make that sound so many times more. Oh, it's different too, a little bit. Treatment complete. Pod opening. Oh, it's a healthy plant now? I'm so confused why it's a plant, a <laughs> healthy plant now. H hey, what the heck is this? The plant was practically dead a minute ago. No way. No way, that's impossible. It's like magic. Well, we won't need this plant anymore. He's done a good job. Thank you for your service, sir. Oh, it drops the thing even though it didn't 
seem plausible, I guess, to just suddenly drop it after giving it youth somehow. Huh? Hey, it looks like there's something here. It must be the thing that was stuck in the trunk. Whatever the treatment was have been pushed it out. Must have pushed it out. Alright, cool. Alright, I think that should complete both of the tests. So, hurry up and put Quark in! I know, I know. Hang on. Sheesh, are we really gonna do this? This seems kind of weird to put Quark in here. There we go. He's sure sleeping pretty hard, huh? You'd never think he's sick. I guess, I guess that so Pearl stuff is pretty strong. Yeah. So, what do we do now? How about closing the cover like we did before? That should start the automatic diagnosis. Got it. Identifying subject, done. Diagnosing subject, done. Single human occupant, secured. Beginning treatment. Is he even going to be okay? Maybe we should check the screen. Yeah. I, I think this is some kind of readout of Quark's vital signs. Body temperature, pulse rate, blood pressure, respiration frequency. They all look normal. What a relief. Wait. There's something else down at the bottom. Radical 6 detected in subject. System is not equipped to treat Radical 6. Current program will alle alleviate symptoms, but cannot cure the viral infection. What the heck? Then what was the point of putting him in there? Well, I think there was no point. After all, it says it can alleviate the symptoms. But, hold on. Let's keep looking. It says more. The system is capable of inducing a cold sleep state. Cold sleep state frees a subject with CAS, preserving cellular structure. During cold sleep state, body functions are suspended, preventing viral spread. Activating sleep function. Yes or no. C code sleep? What the heck is that? I have no idea. But remember, the freezing test? Oh. We literally put him in there. <laughs> with the expectation that... With the expectation that he would get cured. But that's... I didn't think they would actually think that it's going to cure him. If anything, putting him in a cold state makes sense, but at the same time, it's going to be impossible to see if he's going to come back out normal, I guess, somehow, but... Whatever. We need to get out. We need to get out of here and tell everyone else about this. What should we do? What should we... What should we tell it to do? Uh -huh. Do we put him in the cold sleep? Activate sleep function? Yes or no? No question. What if he gets smashed in, like, the plant? No, it is. It's gonna open it back up, isn't it? Oh, no. If he's in there, then he might be in there for a while, but then comes out of it on his own. Maybe that's why he's in there. No, I mean, this is the first time we've actually placed some quark in this, in this particular box. So I'm wondering if that's gonna change anything, really. Look, there's a hand on the face now. Is this an hour hand? It's pointing at four. Alright, let's change the green. It did it again. There's another hand. 405. A minute hand this time. Looks like it's pointing at five past. Alrighty. Um... So, that means that, let's go to the archive here, sorry I'm trying to think about something because I was just like, mm, did I get anything wrong in my head, oh, not this, if I got anything wrong in my head for what, what to think about, because I'm, I'm, I can clearly see 715, but when Sigma questioned it, I was just like, mm, is it, how do you know it's 715, <laughs> I was just like, I hope I'm not thinking it wrong, because sometimes the, the hand will be a little bit slightly different because of the fact that the clock's shorthand could be, like, on a 6, let's say. 
but it's technically like 555 or something like that. It sometimes can happen where it's like that, but we don't know. Anyways, uh, the time is 405 now, right? So 405. Okay, so we need to get, uh, since we have a lack of green on the map, uh, so it's four down, one, two, three, four. So we got an R now. And then we got the blue on the right here that goes to five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we got a C. So reading it backwards, it seems like it says Christ, Christ Day, but. I don't know what the four letter digit would be or what the four letters would be. Cries and stays sounds like seems like the words and stuff, but let's see. Uh four pieces for the first password. One piece for the second password. If I touch it the screen changes. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to read it again just to figure it out. All right, so we got C-R-Y-S-T-A-Y. So maybe it's, wait, something's, oh yeah, zero would be T. Actually, that would count then, I think. Let me go back, archives. Yeah, because if it's hit zero, if it hits zero, then zero would be just on T itself. So I'm guessing that would be the case. So I'm gonna probably add an extra T. Uh, let me scratch that off. So zero would be 15, uh, 15 being S. No, it's 15 being Y. So it's like right here T. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out what the heck I'm, I'm trying to get. I'm trying to, like, figure out what the heck am I reading here. Uh, so one of each piece, I guess, would be the password. But it's just a four-letter word, so that's the hard part. All right, let's try it, I guess. Let's try cries first. Enter. Oh, okay, so not it. Stay? Okay. Um, interesting. Uh, maybe one letter of each piece, I think, would make sense. Uh... There's an A, a T, Y, raise, I guess. No? Mm. Yeah, this is not easy because this has, doesn't have a lot of clues to what's going on with the pieces. Because they state pieces, but it doesn't mean like they they it doesn't mean that they've totally added like enough clues for the players to figure this out completely properly. They just say four pieces and one pieces, which confuses me a little bit. <sighs> Cats, I guess. I don't know. I see C A T S as a thing. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just... Or, or, I forgot about this. There's another thing that might be the case. So, so we start off with a minute. So he goes to the right, but then has to go back around. So that's another piece that I could try to do as well. So let's try that. Uh, What was the time? So 7.15 was piece number one maybe 
So 715. So it's 15 minutes ahead. So all the way down to A, I believe. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so that's fifteen. So that's number one. And then if I say one hour, seven hours behind, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's technically S for the first piece. So then for two, it's seven or six twenty. So it's one, two, three, four, five, all the way down to 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and then six back. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's S. Uh, and then the other one was 15. Yes, I know, I'm writing 15 poorly. <laughs> I don't know what I'm writing there. I don't even. <laughs> I'm trying. The effort counts. So it's 15. So technically it just lands on the Y the last time we saw it. So it's Y. Uh, because 0 doesn't mean like it goes anywhere back. So it just stays in that space. And then the last one was... Uh... Yeah, you know what? I'll stick with blue again. Uh, 405. So it's one, two, three, four, five, and then it goes back four. One, two, three, four. So it's O. I'm so confused. This doesn't even look like a word at all. Saucy? I don't know. S O S Y? Yoss? Y-O-S-S? I don't think that works. I'm so confused with what this is. Or, oh, uh, maybe it's the, instead of like 0, 0, it's 12, 15. Like instead of 0, 0, 15, it's 12, 15. So, let's see. Uh, if I Let's pretend like oh, I go back. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that would be C instead of Y if I go back. Then it would be COS, I think. Let's try COS, I guess. C O S S. Uh. Maybe it's S S O C. Sorry, S S C O. Sorry. No. Mm. S S Y O. Yeah, I feel like it would be a word. I feel like this sort of thing would give you a word no matter what. But I'm so like annoyed because it just doesn't make any sense. I guess. Because if you start off with the M, so the left side is M, right? So you start with that sort of way, and then you go for the hours as being the second part, which is the Y, or the, the secondary part, the second pairing. But maybe we could flip it around, and would that change anything? I am curious about that, if I change anything. Okay, I'm not going to write it out, per se, so I'm going to erase this whole thing anyways. Um, I'm not going to write it out, I'm just going to count it by hand here. So I know 715 is the first one. So let's do hours first. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we got this one at 15. Uh, 620 would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Weirdly enough, there are two S's again. Uh, weirdly enough. And then the next one is 0, 15. So it's either moving none and stopping at the 15. 
which ends up being that Y, the Y, the Y character thing, or, uh, or it's 12 and then 15. So it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, it's still the same letters. That's so weird. I'm just seeing it now that the patterns would hit the same points. Okay, let's go for the last one, which was 405. 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, it's hitting the same letters no matter what. That's so weird. I, I just cannot figure out what the heck's going on here. <laughs> That's interesting. So it's not those letters though hmm I'm so confused rats I just realized rats could be a possibility <laughs> since there was an ARTS oh Star. No. Darn it. Maybe the numbers are like 405 or something like that. Wait, wait, wait. Let me... 0405. No? Goodness gracious. How about... What if I say 0015? No, uh, O seven fifteen, O six twenty. Okay, I just wanted to know if those were a possibility of of getting one of the passwords at least, not the correct password obviously, but the the password that actually counts to my brain, for numbers only. Hmm. This is pointless. I don't even know what the password I'm supposed to put in here. Clover said it might have something to do with the board game. I should go have another look at the game, I guess. See, that's the problem. I don't know what the, the pattern is. The screen is displaying the image of something that looks like some kind of board game. Clover thinks this might be a hint for the tablet login. Yeah, but... I'm looking at the pattern, none of it makes any sense. Can I press the button again? No, I can't, okay. Out of curiosity, I was just wondering. I might have to look this up still because I'm thinking about it and I'm just like, mm. Okay, so four pieces for the first password and one piece for the second password. Uh. Hmm. I was assuming that the one piece for the second password would have been just the timer, like this, just the, the clock times to make it work, but it seems like it's not. So, yeah. And then four pieces for the first password would make... would be weird, I guess. Usually I feel like the passwords you give, that this game gives, would be actual words. And opposed to, like, just, like one incoherent word sometimes yeah I don't know okay um looking at the archives again not gonna think about it much what is that mystery schematics yeah, I don't know what that is. I was just confused by it. Alright, um... Let's see. Hmm... There is a lack of... Vowels in this particular board game. Like, A, O, and U are the only ones that you can see that are vowels. No E or I. And then the rest is just whatever. Which is interesting to me. Hmm... A 
S Y C Oh, hmm, maybe, we'll see. Um, let's follow that thinking. Okay, let me go and say... Okay, so we got... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So let's do that. Messed it up in the circling section. the circling section. And then let's do seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, no, that's what I just did earlier. I don't know what I'm, I'm thinking. I'm, I'm just doing stupid stuff. <laughs> I don't know. It's just like my brain is like already is just going back to the old habit of like doing this exact same thing. Uh... Maybe assist. That sounds awful, but. Stack, axe, <laughs> scat, that's not even a good word to say, but I'm sorry if that is the case. I mean, that's a word, so I don't know. Tax? I don't know. This is really what? bad. It just doesn't have much... It doesn't have much four-letter words that actually make any sense. Like, I've already eliminated all the ones that are, like, plausible. But my problem is, like, this thing doesn't give me enough clues to figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do. Yeah, because what I end up with is, like, Okos or Ox or something like that. Like, I end up with, like, this. That doesn't really make any sense to me, though. Yeah, none of it makes any sense. It's just sitting there where I'm like... I don't really know if any of it make any sense at all. Four or five. I don't know, it's just not clicking. It's not clicking anything in my head. My god, this is not even- Okay, I'm gonna give up on this, I think. Yeah, because I'm already spending more time than I need to for this unnecessary thing to be so complicated. I just need a clue, because none of the clues make any sense. I'm not gonna go and go put it into easy mode, obviously, because easy is gonna give you hints, basically. But I don't want to do that right now, because I just wanted, like, a small, very small hint. Uh, because it's just, like, it doesn't connect in any way. I did exactly what the board game would do, and I really did it with the start. And yet, it returns a letter that doesn't make any sense at all. Both both styles of like, both styles of like following the piece all the way through, based on what the minutes and hours are like, to having to pretend like there's two separate pieces of that same pre uh, same pieces going to a separate di direction and stuff. So I don't get it. I'm gonna look it up. How? How is it? those two can somebody tell me why it's those two passwords i just saw the passwords already but um board game password there we go in this mini game the player must input a password into the tablet using the picture of a board game the hint of which direction you need to traverse is on the clocks of the tre treatment pods and the wall clock after moving spaces according to the clock input the letters into the 
tablet. This puzzle gives you the escape password or file password. Note that the space you already are you're already on counts. Oh, so I've been just one off all this time. Okay, because in in typical game game board board game fashion. Okay, let me let me talk about this a little bit since this is involved. In typical board game password, you don't count this as the singular tile number count. So if you roll a die in Monopoly, for example, or maybe Candyland or Shoots and Ladder or whatever board game you love that has like tiles involvement, you don't count this as one. Uh, you don't count this as one, two, three. Let's say if you roll a die of three, you have to count it like this as one, two, three. Nobody in the right mind counts this. At the starting point of where you're at as one but I guess maybe this maybe the idea is that this start is actually an invisible tile and that going one over like this then makes sense then but that doesn't make it obvious enough I I think the best way to do this would have turned it into like a box like an actual box then that would have made more sense to me personally to say okay your starting point is that particular block so that's why I was confused. Okay, let's do this properly. I know the passcode, but I want to at least do it myself, I think. So the first one was 6... No, the first one was 715, right? So uh, 15 for the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then we move back 7. 1, 2... Or, yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Right, so I, I'm, I've been one off all that time, it seems. Okay, and so the other thing is, uh, the other one was 620. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, uh, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right there. And then... 1215 I believe is the one so not sure if it counts yet so I'm gonna guess 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 right there that's 15 because you don't go backwards if it does then it makes sense I guess later on uh, 4 or 5 so 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 so that would make the password passed that was one of the password apparently so how does the other one work out the other password I already know as well so it's like maybe counting it backwards maybe uh, yeah maybe counting it backwards let's see um, so 15 but backwards no no uh, seven and seven first one two, one two three four five six seven. One two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen. Nope, that's not it. Okay, so that's not how it works. How do you get the second password though? I'm just wondering how that would have worked. Um, because this is one piece for the second password. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what the second password, how it would work, effectively. Maybe it's switched around, I guess? 715? So instead it'd be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Not... Yeah, I think it might be that. Let me see. Um, Sorry, I'm trying to <laughs> count it up. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. No, that's not it either. I'm trying to count it. I'm sorry if I'm if you're not seeing what I'm looking at. My cursor is now on the screen, which is even funnier to me. So I know what the second one was, and the second one is this. I'm trying to figure out how do you get to that secondary password. I don't know if I don't know which one is the golden document and which one isn't. Uh, so I'm gonna get both of them and then answer my call in the next episode but how do you get the second word i'm just curious 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, because the other three letters don't count anyways by that point. Yeah, because the only way to do this is get this one P, and then this one here, and then this one here, and this one here. So it'd be like one, two, three, four, five. But that wouldn't work either. Hmm. There's no other R's, there's no other O's, there's no other U, and there's no other P either. So how the hell do you do that? Do you just count it differently, I guess? Because it's, they say one piece, right? Two, let's see, okay. So we got two on this area here, two on this guy. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is number eight. Uh, let me see, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17, and this is 18. 2, 8, 17, and 18. Yeah, I don't get how you get the second word out of that one. The second one is the weird ones, to be honest. The first one passed is correct in the way that it works, because I was just one off from that particular point. But this secondary password for the golden document, I believe, is very confusing for me because it doesn't explain much. Uh, eight, two, eight, two, seventeen, eighteen. 8, 2, 17, 18. I am so confused with it. Alright, anyways, I'm just going to live with it for now. I'll probably eventually figure it out for why it is that way in the future, but I'll, I'll have to live with what I got. <laughs> thought so. Nice word, Sigma. Yeah, I guess. Oh, wait. Look. That's the password for the blue dock. Huh. This is... It's a passcode. Password for the safe. Alright, and then let's get the other one, which is the actual answer to get out of here. One piece for the second password. One piece for the second password. I'm trying to figure out what the hell is the one piece for the second password. Is it like you just add them up, I guess? So like zero... No, that wouldn't work either, I think. You just add them all up into the number that it needs to associate it with, maybe? Is what I was thinking. But then, like, 4 plus 5 is 9, which none, none of them associates that. Uh, and then, what was it? 7 plus 15 would be, like, 22, I think. Which is far beyond the numbers that are seen on the, on the board. I don't know. Alright. Passed. So we know this one for sure. This one, simple, easy. I was just one off. That was totally fire. Good job! You logged in! Yeah, but look at the screen. Huh? This one's different. Oh, the symbols are in the different spots. Alright, so there's no more of that pass the tablet stuff. The, this is like the second time they did the, pa the the tablet stuff anyways. I forgot to save in the last episode. Oh well, it's fine. Um, anyways. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next episode of your Minds. Hope you guys have a great, amazing day. Good night to one of you watching this. A little longer episode. I apologize. I was just struggling with all the passwords and stuff. I'm still trying to reel in the... Uh, I'm still kind of trying to think about, like, how the... Let me erase this one. This one was useless, actually. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how the... Uh, the thing works for the poor. The pouring pour. I mean, I'm I'm not sure how you how you got to this 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 and this. So I'm gonna probably figure that out. And I won't. I don't know if I should explain it in the next episode. Maybe I might, considering that we're just gonna go through the same room anyways for the time being. But we'll probably figure out what the heck uh, what the heck it meant to get the poor one because I'm kind of curious how this one count itself. 
six twenty so it's twenty six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 would be a C. It would be this. That's 26. But that's not right either. <laughs> I'm so confused. Anyways, I'm, I'm having a headache from just thinking about that. So I'm going to leave it for myself in the next episode. I'll explain it once I figure out. Or, like, once I talk to the one, not talk to someone, but read through the forums of what people have to say. Like, how the hell does you, how do you reach that second password because it doesn't have any understanding or bearings it just gives you a clue of saying one piece but it's like what one piece of information is it that helps you reach that that particular uh number i'm trying to think like 12 15 but that doesn't accumulate up to it uh 405 doesn't accumulate up to it it kind of partially does but doesn't really um, seven fifteen seems plausible. Like seven plus one plus five, twelve thirteen. But that doesn't make any sense. Six and twenty is the same thing almost, but it's not the exact way. Anyways, I don't know. I'll 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 figure it out. I'll look it up and then figure it out for the next episode to talk about, and then we'll leave it at that. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Roz, out.